Out of the 7 million annually reported stalkings in the U.S., the Family Crisis Center in Harlingen reports hundreds every year. We see between the shelter and here in the central office, we must see over three, 400 people a year. Taking a toll on a wide range of age groups, both men and women. We see that more in the middle age, 25 to 55, but we do service older and younger. Yeah. I think the youngest that I have worked with was 17. Although following is commonly associated with stalking, it can take on many forms. From our clients, the stalking um, usually is, uh, is uh, following, spying, um, calling, frequent calling, a different phone, using different phones, using different numbers. According to Shelter from the Storm, a domestic violence victim center, 80% of domestic violence victims are dealing with something of that nature. Stalking can be inflicted by more than just an ex-partner, though. We have had, you know, uh, clients state that someone was following, which normally is from a domestic violence uh, a per victim, and it's uh, a friend of the partner that is doing the stalking spying on her. Despite the form stalking may take or who is committing the crime, the impact is always the same. Sometimes the they're not taken seriously and so they are left with fear, with um, constant checking of windows and doors, turning back to see who's following them. It, they are terrified. Although the FAR Police Department says stalking is not a major problem in their city. Uh, usually most of our calls are harassment. They don't really uh, end up as stalking. We do get a few, very, very minimal amount. The Family Crisis Center tells me most victims don't want to report due to the fear of retaliation or not being taken seriously. If you're wanting to report someone for stalking, the FAR PD says you must have proof. They got to make it clear off the bat, that's it, don't bother me, don't answer anymore, and just start documenting all those phone calls. You know, phone records are very important. Text messages, don't erase them. Save those text messages. Once reported, though, the police department will do everything in their power to keep a victim safe. Working for you, I'm Keely Olives.